What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a hot minute since I have done just like a sit and talk to you guys type of video. Today I'm actually doing a long overdue video. Probably say this 80,000 times, but um, I'm just going to be straightforward and tell you guys that this product was sent to me to review about... I, I mean, it's been like some, it's been years. Like, let's just get to the point. I was sent this product to review and I was in the process of like getting ready to review it when I found out that I was going to deploy. So I didn't really have the ability to think about it the way that I wanted to and to produce content for it. But I finally like have moved into my own place and had the ability to actually go through products that I've been sent to review and like figure out what I wanted to do with them. So you guys know um, from my hair journey videos that my hair has grown a lot, like a lot, a lot. I don't know how to explain it. I have something in my DMI and I don't, mm. I always work hair extensions before, which is why this company reached out to me to do a review over their hair extensions. At the time, I think I was wearing Bellamy's. Um, I will tell you that I wore these hair extensions in my sock bun for the military because I had like hacked my hair off to like here at one point. If I'll link my hair journey video so you can see how much it's grown in such a short amount of time because I feel like that plays a big role in the things that I'm choosing to do with my hair right now. So the brand is Eva Wigs, Ava Wigs. Um, they do have Instagram. You probably have seen them a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of YouTubers do videos over their hair. Um, but normally it's like wigs that you see them doing the reviews over. So I did get hair extensions, but I ended up using the hair extensions to actually create my own wig situation. I'm new to the wig game. I have been reaching for wigs more often than none because I'm really trying not to wash my hair all the time because in Afghanistan, I didn't wash my hair all the time and it grew so much faster. So I realized that that's what my hair likes and here at home, I can wear wigs and be crazy and do what I wanna do. So this is the only way that I can wear wild colors, whatever. So you guys have seen this wig. I've worn it a couple of times on pictures on Instagram and I will notice about this wig, however, is that I do not um, let the top of it show for good reason. Um, basically the wig cap that came with the wig that I purchased, if that makes any sense at all, yes, I purchased a wig. But I went through and glued the clip-ins that I had from Eva Wigs to this wig. Like I dyed them and then and got them glued on there. So I went through extreme measures and basically the wig that I bought was just super thin and it's synthetic. So I was able to just take, cut my clips off and attach it to this wig which made it so much better. Um, but I do wear a hat because I feel like you can definitely tell that I have like a lot of hair underneath of this wig. It's just not good quality. I literally bought like a $20 wig from um, the hair store and turned it into what I could actually wear in public. So this is the one that I did and I did dye the whole freaking wig. Like I bought the wig, um, I bought the wig and it was already like red and then I ended up adding the hair <clears throat> that they had sent me after I dyed it. So the color that I used is actually just like a red hair color from Sally Beauty Supply and I have videos on my channel from a long time ago where I dyed my own hair with box dye from there and I did the exact same thing to this hair but I did have to lighten the hair that they had sent me, which I actually have like one strand of it that I didn't use. And you can tell, can you tell? So I don't know if you can tell, but like only the ends of this piece of hair are lightened, but it ended up like I fried off part of it and ended up not using this one. So um, the clip-in hair extensions, like when they sent them to me, the main reason that I didn't wear them as clip-ins is because my hair is so freaking thick anyways. 
Um, so it was very Being hard. able to cut them off and put them on a wig was like a really good option for me. And it's something that I think that if you're confident with wearing wigs or even if you're not, you can do what I do. Since this is the first one that I was wearing, I literally put the wig on and I did nothing to the top of the wig. Like, if you watch wig videos on YouTube, you know that you have to do all of this crazy stuff to the wig to get it to look more natural, and I just, I don't have time for it. So, I just wear a hat every single time that I'm wearing the wig, and I'm good to go. So, I definitely recommend trying this out. I do think Eva Wigs does have decent clip-in extensions. If I had to compare them to clip-ins that you could just get on the market anywhere, I would say they're close to the Sally Beauty Supply, like sassy hair extensions. They remind me exactly of those. And they work totally fine for people who have like medium thick hair to like not very thick hair at all. Basically, the only way that I was able to wear those is if I was wearing my hair in a sock bun and like the nub of my ponytail was out anyways and it worked out really well. And a lot of you guys actually think that that wig is like my real hair, like, I don't know. But I'm going to leave you guys with some pictures of what I did, um, of what I look like with this wig on. And if you guys want a more in-depth video of like how to add hair to a wig that you already have, I can definitely show you that. So I will show you that inside the box that you get from Eva Wigs, they do send you a wig cap, which at first I was like, girl, why? Because these are clipping extensions. I knew nothing about wigs when I got this. So I um, was actually looking in here and they have like this pamphlet that comes with it. And inside of it, it tells you how to wear a wig and stuff, but it also tells you how to make your own wig. Um, I did not go through this whole step-by-step -step process of making my own, um, but I do plan on doing that sometime just to see if I'm capable of doing it. But in a sense, it's all gluing the hair to a wig cap or like sewing it on. So for me, it was easier to just buy a wig that was already made and attach the hair where I felt that it needed it. So I think it came out awesome. I feel like the wig looks like it has layers and the only thing that I wish is that I would have paid attention to the cap size because with all this hair on my head, I cannot, I can't just wear this on its own. So I have to wear the hat. So I feel like there's a little bit of like friedness at the end because of the bleaching. But other than that, I think it came out great and yeah, this is my first talk through video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have another hair video on my channel and I'll probably be wearing the same outfit. So don't judge me.